Hello, and welcome to SDR Radio for Beginners, episode number four. Tape measure Yagi beans. Now, I did a video um, a few months back on how to actually build this specific um, Yagi here. This is tuned for the two meter ham band. So if you're interested in building one of these after you watch this video, look in the description below. I've already done a video on how to build it for the, the two meter. And this will also work um, for like your broadcast all the way up to your NOAA weather. Just using these specifications, you'll be fine. But I would stay tuned because we're going to go into, you can build this for other frequencies as well. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, yeah, I built, um, did the video on how to build this a few months ago. But um, for SDR radio, this is real handy. Now, it can be rolled up, collapsible, easily put in a vehicle. You can hand hold it, but that doesn't mean you have to hand hold it. You could take and make some kind of mount to hold this, like a little mini tripod. Um, you could use like an old camera tripod and put this on there because it is very light. It doesn't weigh much, and this is very mobile. You could put this up, you know, on top of your house or garage. Just remember, in heavy winds, the elements will flop around and make some noise, and they will probably wear out fairly quick if, you know, you're leaving it outside. This is more of something you put up when you're going to use it. But um, for anywhere from your broadcast radio all the way um, up to your NOAA weather, and that's going to in there, that's in uh, 160 something megahertz, if I remember right. But your police band stuff, the, uh, the 150 megahertz area, your ham band, you know, 146, 147, uh, and around there. And then, of course, your broadcast band, uh, which is down about the center of it, it's going to be about 100 megahertz. And, you know, you go all the way up to 107.9 and down to, what is it, 88 or something like that. But, you can also make these for other frequencies. And uh, hold on a second here, I got a big truck driving by. Alright, shouldn't be making any noise now. But, uh, you could also make a smaller version of this. For um, like 440, which is a 70 centimeter ham radio band, or um, you could use that same antenna for your FRS radios because they're right there close to the uh, the 440. The only difference when you build one of them is instead of using a one inch tape measure, you're going to use a uh, I do believe it was a, a half inch, if I remember right. Now I haven't done a video on building one of them yet. But there's lots of websites on it. I guess I haven't looked to see if there is an actual video on how to build one of these for the 440. But um, it's just going to be scaled down. I know there's tutorials out there. At least there's you know website tutorials. And all you're going to do, if, if you want to do it on your own, is find the Yagi calculator, put your specifications in, and it's going to tell you the diff, you know the the spacing between your um, director your driver and your reflector elements. And you can also make these in four element and five element. There you can modify them. Um, you can also make uh, one of these for around the 220 hand band, which, well, there's not a whole lot of people on there. You'd probably be able to receive fairly decent with this. Um, I guess I haven't tried. Well, for the 220, yeah, you'd probably want to make a scaled down version. I would still say you'd be able to use the, the one inch tape though. Um, for much over the FRS and 70 centimeters, it's gonna get too small and be, it just isn't gonna work very good. And anything below your broadcast, it's gonna start getting just big. And um, I mean, the tape measure elements are you know, they will bend. And that's the nice thing, like I said. What I do if I want to put this in my truck is I roll them up, put rubber bands on there. And I also made it, I got two wing nuts here so I can take the handle off. And I use this primarily, I keep it in my truck. 
Uh, that's why it's a little dusty because it doesn't get used very often, but I keep my two meter HT in there. And if I break down and there's no cell service, well, I can always get a hold of somebody on this. You, using this Yagi and my two meter, I am most likely going to contact somebody. But, um, all right, the only other thing, now you see mine, the boom, is constructed out of wood. That is just what I had abundance of at the time. Most people actually make these out of PVC pipe. I... I've seen people use half inch PVC. I've seen people use the um, three quarter inch PVC. I don't know, one inch PVC you would be starting to get overkill. I say just use what you have on hand. And um, oh, as for the connector, I'm just using your regular, like you see on CB radios and ham radios, just the regular coax connector. But you could build this um, to have one of your um, connectors that that's the, um, oh God, I'm trying to think, it's the SMA, there it is, it took me a second to remember that. You could build it so it had SMA on here instead, so you could just use your SMA coax cable. Because you're not transmitting on this, this is for the, the SDR radio, this is just a receiver. Now this particular antenna here, like I said, I use this with my 2 meter HD, I can transmit on this. This is set up, SWR has been checked, and it does work fine to broadcast on, but that's, you're going to be using this with SDR radio, don't worry about that. And that's why I said you can use this, this same dimensions, and everywhere from broadcast band up to no weather radio and everything in between, you're going to be fine. So, alright, well once again, remember... Look in the description below. I have the video that goes over how to build this. And then I have a website um, that has all the specifications and stuff on there as well. So just look in the description below. So with that, um, we'll just wrap this up. And I would like to thank you for joining us here today. If you found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. Appreciate it big time. So, well, I hope you have a great day. And... Have fun building your tape measure Yagi.